Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, guidance, advice, uh, and I want to focus on a verse in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 28, um, where it says, um, "The hidden things, the hidden things, are for Hashem, our God, and the, but the revealed." things are for us and our children forever. Now our sages generally say that this refers to hidden sins, sins that we commit in private, and sins that we commit, commit openly. The sins that we commit openly, everyone sees them. Us, our children, the hidden sins, uh, they're not hidden from God. God sees them. They're between us and God. Um, the um, the nistaros are the hidden sins, and the the niglos are the uh, the open revealed sins. Now, the uh, the arizal, this is uh, Rabbi Isaac Luria, uh, Ashkenazi, the holy uh, Ari, uh, the great uh, Kabbalist and mystic who lived in Israel in the 1700s. He says, when looking at this verse in in Deuteronomy uh, 29 uh, 28, we should look at it as the hidden commandments, the hidden mitzvahs, are between us and God, and the revealed commandments are for everybody, for us, for our children, uh, forever. So what is the Arizal saying? He says, the mitzvahs that are done, there are certain mitzvahs that are done in private by their very nature, uh, loving God, fearing God with all our heart, um, those are private. You, you don't they're not seen, uh, as it were. Um, the open mitzvahs are the ones you can see. For example, if you're wearing tzitzis and the fringes are out, you see the tzitzis. If you're uh, praying in the morning in a, in a synagogue, you'll wear um, a talus. You'll wear, depending on the day, you'll wear tefillin. These are, you have, there's a mezuzah on the front door uh, of your house and on the rooms uh, inside your house. These are open commandments that you do. He says, the, the commandments that you do in private, the private commandments, loving God, fearing God, um, those, um, you shouldn't make a, um, a big display of those. Those are, uh, um, those are, uh, are by their very nature uh, uh, performed in private. Um, you shouldn't make a, a big display of them. They're by their very nature something between you uh, and God. We should not uh, publicize our Yeris Shemayim, our, our, our fear of heaven. We shouldn't uh, make a big deal and, and publicize uh, and show off our uh, Ahavas Hashem, our love of God, or our uh, Avodas Hashem, our service of God. On the other hand, with respect to the Niglos, the, uh, the, uh, the open sins, so the open, God forbid, the open uh, uh, mitzvahs, the open uh, commandments, you should uh, um, make an attempt to make uh, the observance known, uh, especially to the children, because the Pesach says, the verse says, there'll be uh, for us and for our children forever. So what is the Arizal saying here? With the commandments that are done openly, one of the reasons we try to make a point of being seen to do these commandments is because the children, our children, are observing them and kids may not always listen to what you say, but they sure are watching what you do. And if you are always doing a certain open commandment, they will learn that, you know, this is important. If you just say something is important but you don't do it, the kids are going to figure out, yeah, I can see just how important this really is. So, this is, uh, this is the distinction made by the Arizal in uh, Deuteronomy 29-28. The hidden mitzvahs, uh, the nistaros and the niglos, the uh, open mitzvahs, and how we should uh, do it especially to our children, because we're supposed to teach the words of God diligently to our children. And one of the ways, of course, is to sit down and teach. But other one, the other way is to teach by doing, teach to learn by observation, because that has 
uh, a profound effect, especially on the young. Uh, they may not do what you say, but they will sometimes do as you do. Um, they won't listen to what you say, not all the time. But uh, they will watch what you do. They're watching. They're not stupid. Kids are smart. And uh, they can notice when uh, things are insincere and when things are just a lot of talk. Their detection for that kind of stuff is pretty good. So let's be a good example for our children. When we're doing mitzvahs, when we're doing commandments, let us lead by example and teach them properly, teach them dil diligently. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope they are of some help to you. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.